Californians use more than 12 million barrels of oil a week. Much of it imported. But there's something new, something used on the fuel horizon. Yes, there is. The same vegetable oil used for your French fries and fish and chips can be recycled as motor fuel. KCAL 9's Jennifer Sabi tells us how. When the tank on his truck runs low, Jules Gervais looks for a fill-up. But unlike most of us, Jules doesn't stop at the corner gas station. In fact, he passes right by all those high-priced petrols. Instead, the former math teacher heads home to his garage, where he fills her up with his home-brewed biodiesel, a homemade fuel he cooks up from old cooking oil. If you add lye and methanol to vegetable oil, this is a formula that's been developed uh, since the 1970s, that you can actually come up with a, uh, a, a, a fuel that powers your car. Jules collects used vegetable oil from his neighborhood restaurants. You know, that greasy stuff left over from French fries and donut making. So they call it biodiesel because it's made out of, out of uh, oil that you get, you know, soybeans, uh, corn. Safflower, sun, uh, sunflower oil. Jules motto is, all we are saying is give grease a chance. Sounds corny until you hear how much he pays to power his car. For us, it's cheap. <laughs> we can do it for 70 cents a gallon. In a nutshell, here's how it works. We go to behind restaurants and pick up in these carboys, these five gallon carboys, we pick up waste vegetable oil. Then we pour it. We pour the waste vegetable oil in this in the strainer right here. After that's been strained, just to get out the uh, there might be like bits of French fries. He heats the vegetable oil in an old water heater, then adds methanol and lye. Now you got the two together, and a chemical reaction takes place. A couple hours later, the fuel floats to the top, a little like how Grandma used to can jams. Jules brews biodiesel, and when it's finished, just give me about three gallons. Jules fills his tank. And off he goes. He gets about the same miles to the gallon and says it's less polluting than regular diesel fuel. Stand next to the exhaust and it certainly smells better. If it was used for making donuts, you're going to smell like, like a donut shop. If it was a, you know, a French fry, they call it French fry fr fragrance. It's going to smell like you've been, uh, you know, in a French fry shop. Jules says more and more people are jumping on the biodiesel bandwagon. In Berkeley, they're powering buses with the stuff. And you can buy biodiesel ready-made from co-ops if you've got a diesel engine. The best part? Not relying on foreign oil or digging in environmentally fragile areas. Greece is a renewable American resource, as long as Americans keep eating fries. European countries, bus fleets, even NASA now using biofuel. Anyone with a diesel car can buy it and use it. If you'd like to learn more about biodiesel, log on to kcal9.com and follow the links and you can learn all you want to learn.